not many people know about it. Yeah, they were all very interested, everybody was. Some digger operators who noticed there was something unusual you know, sticking up out of, the, out of all this thick mud, basically. So they stopped to have a look at that. One giant beam for mankind. Well, if they were horse bones, it was a pretty big horse. If the dog thought he was going to take that home, he was going to have a struggle. The mammoths were discovered at a sand and gravel quarry just south of uh, Shrewsbury, near Condover. Um, we think, effectively, that they got stuck in a, a depression in the ground called a kettle hole. They probably went into that to, to get up the water, um, and then probably got stuck in the mud at the bottom and either suffocated or drowned. We started off basically finding one adult mammoth um, and then they found the lower jaw of another mammoth and then another one and then another one. So that gave us at least four. Um, but when we look at the bones carefully, we find that there's actually one bone which doesn't really fit with either the juvenile mammoths or the adults. So there's possibly five. I mean, one of the, one of the great things about this is that it is almost a complete adult mammoth. I think as soon as they saw the bones themselves, I think they suddenly sort of realised what really was, you know, it was something big and that was it. And in fact, internationally they're quite important because when they came to carbon date these bones, they found that they were only 14,000 years old. Um, prior to that, people thought that mammoths had died out about 18,000 years ago in Britain. Initially, the, there was no building that was safe enough to put them in in Shropshire. There was no way of um, a climate controlled store, so they had to go to Cardiff Museum, where they had some spare space that they could look after them. Um, and that led to a little bit of anxiety amongst the, you know, the Shropshire Star and some people in the local community who thought they'd never get them back. Um, while they were there, they also took the opportunity to make um, casts of these bones to make uh, a replica. But that replica is now at the Secret Hills Discovery Centre, or Shropshire Hills Discovery Centre in Craven Arms. Um, uh, this is actually a thoracic vertebra, so this is part of the backbone of the adult mammoth. Um, and it was something like this that I actually found um, when I was on the dig all those years ago. I've never found anything where I'm digging. Never found a thing. The professor said there's nothing in the sand and gravel, it's all in the clay that's deposited above. So, unfortunately we never found anything. But never mind, it's still time. <laughs>